Yes. You're, you're rolling? Yeah. Um, so what can you tell us about your discussions with NBC and, and what's changed on the website? Well, all I can tell you is that NBC called me asking about uh, the Republicans' website um, because they had some questions about my education. Um, I told them directly that the information that I'd given to everyone was accurate, which is when I was 18 years old, I went to work for a company called Ford Co. Management. I was promoted to associate manager. In order for me to be promoted past that level, I had to go to Ford Co. Management School, which I attended, passed, um, got my certificate of completion from Ford Co. Management School, and was then promoted to assistant manager. Ooh -hoo. I worked there for two years until I earned enough money to go to Riverside Community College, where I achieved my associate's degree in science and transferred to the University of California, Riverside, where I studied astrophysics and geophysics. And that is exactly what I've told people in the past, exactly what's going on in the, f in the future. So I'm kind of perplexed a little bit about what the concern or consternation is. Apparently, the Republicans failed to put information on about the community college. So there was a question on whether I had gone to a community college. What exactly is Ford Co. Management School? Just for people who may Management School was a company that owned multiple restaurants. Uh, they predominantly, in, the, in our area, owned Sizzler restaurants. And so I went to work for them. I started off as a regular employee. I was promoted to associate manager which I think was you know, their, their ability to get you into that management system. Uh, I was then transferred to a place in Diamond Bar where I had to work for six months at a, the Forbico Management School, taking classes during the day, working in the evening for me to get my uh, degree in order to advance in their company. I guess, and I haven't read it as carefully as maybe mm -hmm. some others, but I guess the allegation is this is completing the resume. You know what, I haven't even read the article about what they've said about it. I've been kind of busy working with people of Iowa. Uh, I will tell you that I disagree with their, their, their assumption on that. Um, the information's all out there, and I'll continue to put it out there accurately. Have you heard any more feedback on your discussion about the bill that we talked about last week about making sure that college professors are balanced politically? Oh, I hear all sorts of different comments on that bill. Um, consistently. I mean, I still believe that that's the right way to go, is that we need to make sure that the discussion of our professors on our Regents University's campuses have a diversity of opinion, diversity of thought. My preference would be they would all be registered as independents, but at the minimum, the, the students who are the customers should understand the political affiliation of the ones they're asking opinions of, so they can filter that out and make their own decisions based on the answers. Did you want the Forbco thing then to go back on your bio on the Senate Republican? Absolutely. It's, it's accurate. It's been taken off. Oh, I had no idea about that. So it's, it, the, the information for attending Forbco Management School and successfully completing their program is accurate. And you mentioned this. Where did you go after Riverside Community College? I went to the University of California at Riverside. But you didn't get a degree? You took courses there, but mm -hmm. didn't get a degree? Or just so I understand. I mean, I'm so I passed Forbco Management School. I got an associate's degree in science from Riverside, Riverside Community Colleges. I attended UC Riverside and did not get a degree. I guess what are your thoughts on the article? I haven't read the article at this point. I think it's kind of trivial. <laughs> so I kind of laugh at it. <laughs> um, on a separate subject, I heard you mention mm -hmm. the Libertyville School District. Yes. Are you, is this to do with a merger or a consolidation? This is. Uh, Fairfield School District has, um, sh it, it has proposed shutting down the, the Libertyville School, transferring the students from Libertyville to the Fairfield School District. And this bill, if it had gone through the subcommittee, which doesn't look like it's going to go through the subcommittee, would have allowed Libertyville to petition to the neighboring district, which is Cardinal, and allow that school to stay open. Is that Cardinal of Eldon? Is that what uh, Cardinal School District is uh, in, in the Eldon area, yes. Okay. What will be the implications if this bill doesn't make uh, it means that the school in Libertyville will probably close and consolidate with Fairfield, uh, even though their, the Libertyville test scores were higher than the Fairfield test scores. Do, um, do parents in that district have the opportunity to open enroll to a cardinal? We're working on that as a separate process to try to make sure that that uh, uh, process can be streamlined to allow them to do it. But once again, the, the frustration ends up being is uh, if, let's assume everyone in Libertyville decides to open enroll to cardinal, uh, their property taxes are still paying for the Fairfield School District. And I think it would be right for them to make that decision as a community on whether they wanted to petition Cardinal and then allow Cardinal to make the decision on whether they wanted to accept that. I mean, when we talk about local control, this is probably the epitome of that style of, of governing. How important will that transportation equity bill then going through be to all of this? 
that well, was in right. the committee. Well, transportation equity is a very important aspect of this. Um, what we're dealing with is we're dealing with rural school districts that have a much higher per pupil cost for transportation, which will allow them the flexibility to spend their dollars more specifically on education and less on the transportation. So I think it's a huge issue. Was Libertyville K through 12 or K through 5? It was, it's an elementary school. So it's K through 5? I believe so. Oh, okay. I can go online, but maybe sure. it will be there. Why isn't it advancing at the subcommittee? I mean, did they feel like this wasn't something for the legislature to get involved in? Well, what happened was the feedback that we got from the Board of Education and from the AEAs was that the complexity of trying to take a section of one school district and open it up in order to be implemented into another one would cause uh, a lot of unintended consequences with regards to property taxes and how the formula for education works. I mean, the problem ends up being is a lot of the things we want to accomplish, our hands are tied because of the complexity of education formulas. And so until we get a, a handle on how we fund education in the long term and streamline that process, a lot of these ideas in order to solve everyday problems are somewhat, um, our, our hands are tied. But would you also have every school district coming to you saying, hey, fix our problem, we've got it. I'd like to open this up directly so that the local community can petition a neighboring school district so that the neighboring school district can then vote on it. And once again, that comes down to a vote of the local community. It comes down to a vote of the school district that they want to petition to. And if both those votes are, are passing, then that, uh, that merger should be able to be happened. Is Libertyville in your district? It is. Okay. <laughs> All right.